Throughout World War I, trench warfare was prevalent, especially on the Western Front. Trenches were effective in keeping infantry safe from small arms and artillery fire. But with the fast pace of World War II, trenches weren't able to be constructed in most cases, so an alternative was needed. In this video, we look at the infantry fighting holes, often called foxholes, of World War II. There's no doubt that a trench is a relatively safe place for a soldier, but as the First World War showed, it could often become that soldier's home for months on end. Many hours were put into their construction, and this shows as across Europe, many are still visible today. For example, these trenches in Belgium. But with the use of tanks and aircraft, the German army showed the Allies that this war would be different. There would be no time to construct these defences, and it wouldn't take them long to attempt to identify a solution. The battles in North Africa would see the use of fighting holes on a larger scale. Most soldiers were trained to utilise their surroundings, digging a small hole in the ground a few inches below the surface. They could then lay down in the hole to lessen the chance of shrapnel or enemy fire. This was called a shell scrape. But as you can see, it didn't offer much protection, and the soldiers using them soon realised this themselves. What is referred to as a foxhole was soon favoured over the shell scrape. This fighting hole offered much better protection, with the soldier using their entrenching tool to dig down into the ground, anywhere from 4 to 6 feet deep and 3 feet in width. The hole was designed for a single soldier to occupy, and could take anywhere from 30 to 60 minutes to construct. This of course would depend on the condition of the ground. Soldiers would also often cover the top of the foxholes, with branches, leaves, and anything else which could offer concealment and protection from enemy shrapnel. These fighting positions could also be widened to allow for more than one soldier to occupy. This was especially important in forward observation posts, which allowed for several men to keep an eye on the front lines. Machine gun and mortar crews utilised these holes to their advantage, and were able to dig in different directions. For example, some could dig in a T-shape, with the gun at the front, or some in a square shape, with the machine gun in the middle, allowing the soldiers to move position very easily. Because these were so easy to construct, they were often only used for a day or so, before moving to another location. However, despite how basic they are, some of the holes in the more remote locations in Europe are even evident today, with these seen here near the town of Baston. Their use during World War II is something that has continued on, with foxholes still being utilised in modern militaries because of their effectiveness at protecting the occupants. What did you think of the fighting foxholes of World War II? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to expand your knowledge and join the growing Premier History community.